eerily haunting true stories about remote abandoned locations rich in history come with us now travels from state to state if you dare <laughs> Hello? Jamie, there is a beehive over there. Do you see that in the hole? Buckle up, Buttercup. Welcome to 50 States of Madness. Hi, welcome to 50 States of Madness. Welcome. I'm happy to be here. I'm pretty excited about today's episode. Me too. We're recording from somewhere a little different today. I know. It looks a lot different. Yeah. No confessional. <laughs> I don't, it's it's our third. What It's going to be one of our first episodes. Yeah. Our third episode. But, you know. Yeah. We're on location already. We're on location already. I know. We're travelers. Look at that. <laughs> I know. That's yeah. well, That's what our podcast is about. Just yeah. traveling. So. Yeah. So we traveled because we have a really super cool guest today. We do. I'm excited. <laughs> and I'm we're very here. excited. I excited to share the story about how this all came about. Yeah. So we went to Wyoming. We did. And we were visiting a bunch of towns. We were. I don't remember exactly what town we were in, but we were in an abandoned town. Well, we were taking our jumping, jumping across Wyoming. Uh, photos. Photos. Yeah. That started in Death Valley, but yeah. we decided that we were going to start jumping in the air and taking pictures. We did. <laughs> and so, we, uh, we take them from a very unique angle that makes it look like we actually get off the ground, but we're like really probably only about this far off the ground. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I was I like, how do they do I that? Think that? That's one of, I think that that's one of the pictures that you had responded to. So I had posted yeah. a picture oh. and I had like put jumping across <laughs> abandoned Wyoming. Really? And well, maybe we should introduce our guests first. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. So yes. go ahead. Okay. So, so, okay. So we were, uh, I had posted a picture and, um, Heidi, uh, yes. texted me and said, Hey, where are you at in Wyoming? I was like, I don't know. Some, <laughs> somewhere abandoned. <laughs> and so she said, um, there's a Van Tassel, Wyoming. I said, oh, well, because right? why? What's because Heidi's last name? This is Miss Heidi Van Tassel. Van we have Tassel. herself as our guest today. Oh, do we get the clap on this one? <laughs> there we go. Oh, look at you're taking. <laughs> <laughs> she might be able oh. to take over. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was hoping she'd push that one. <laughs> yeah, so she's in charge of it today. She's in charge of the board. So we'll see what kind of sounds we have coming out. I just want to say, you guys are so cute oh thank you. So you like you're really like this is really good yeah, i think you're really good together oh Aww. thanks thank you well, sitting here i'm watching you guys <laughs> smiling at you because we've done it enough times where we could do it in our sleep yeah. now. that's awesome yeah so anyway so um it just so happened that um a couple days later where from the town that we were in we were going to be visiting um only, I think we were going to be like 40 miles away from Van Tassel. Yeah, we were going to actually be in JM. And so, uh, JM? JM? Is, it, is it called JM? JM. JM. Oh, JM. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so I said, you know what? We need to add this. And we're she's gonna like, go. look it up and see how we're, far this yeah, is. Yeah, I was like, I'm where like, is it's it? It's on the border of Nebraska and Wyoming. <laughs> But it's oh, it only is? About, yes. Yeah, but it's only about 40 miles away from where we're going to be. So I don't think it's going to take us long to <gasps> yeah, head that way. It's like five miles yeah, five or seven miles or from seven the border. Miles from, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. the Nebraska border. So, oh. yeah, we were right there. And what I didn't tell you is when we were driving, we were going head on into, like, a storm. Yeah, rain. And we were like, should we do it? Should we not? Should we do it? Should mm. we not? Like, what do we do? Because well, when we, we went through we, Death yeah. Valley, we... <laughs> we thought we were going to see a lot of lightning. So we said, well, let's drive there if we have to stay in our car, because, you know, when it roars, stay indoors. So we didn't want to get oh, struck by lightning. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so we don't want to be one of the, you know, lightning strikes. And so because death is always on me. Um, so um, I said, we won't get out of the car. We'll just take pictures from the car. But at least we can go see it. Yeah. But we saw a really pretty beautiful rainbow rainbow you when did? we got there uh-huh. yes. so we got to show you the picture yeah, right was, behind your was, town it was super cool wow. i call it your town because oh, you really, well, yeah. no, it it's is. been my dream to move yeah, there because then heidi heidi actually said to me um i want to be mayor 
<laughs> totally. And just own that, like run the town. Yeah. Of 26 people. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. The, may- all of which we saw in zero. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's questionable. We don't know the last time the census, census was done yeah. correctly or updated. I, I so think cool. it was 2010 is the last one that oh, I could find. Oh, wow. So was we don't really know. If, yeah. From the 2021, we, they haven't updated. It's yeah. been two years, but they still haven't updated. <laughs> but the, um, some of the pictures you showed had uh, cars had like 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 in front of a house and i was oh, like yeah. where are they well are and there's people? i forget what the building is i'll have we'll, we'll put all the pictures up but um there was like a newer building i don't know if it was like a rec- <gasps> oh it was like a mercantile no it was no, like no no, the, no, no it was oh. like on the corner um it was on the corner it was like a i don't know like a city building or something oh the fire de- they had a fire they yeah they, they had have a fire department they yeah. have a fire department and um there was something else i can't remember yeah but it wasn't a, like but it was like a newer building yeah yeah um but it said we'll like in the sign up big i took a picture and video of it but um yeah so like Let's really big like it. van tassel wyoming and it was cool like when we were driving in to the town you know they have like the little you're now entering blah blah yeah. blah and it was like so cool to see like the, where it said van tassel like i don't know it's just yeah there's town that. hall and fire station yeah. since 1916 wow yeah well i i just have to say that my dad has always wanted to go there so you made his day because then i i i printed all the pictures up and oh. he just looks at them and was like <laughs> oh my god it's so it. yeah it's so cool oh my god yeah. yeah it's it's so worth the trip especially like obviously having history there but it's so cool to visit these little places like it's, it was just cool knowing that it's your town yeah right. like even at the time i just little back history i hadn't met you yet yeah i oh, just yeah. kind of met you through because you know gina yeah and so but it was just really exciting i'm like oh my goodness yeah, so I, I know the soon to be the mayor of this town. Right. I'm serious. I, I have ever Wait, since I was like, a little kid, I just wanted to drive through really fast. I couldn't even drive when I was little, but <laughs> drive through and just be pulled over and be like, I don't know who pulled her over though. Right? I don't. <laughs> what time we, were we there at? After three, we were there around yeah. dinner time because yeah, I that's remember right. four. Yep. Yeah, we were. I was gonna try to Facetime her, but I didn't have service, which was pretty common in most of the places that we were um but i was remember there you said a cemetery you were at dinner there? we didn't see we didn't one. see one <clears throat> there has to be though somewhere yeah. because where do they bury their dead or maybe in jail are they <laughs> are they the walking the dead zombie. Zombie. I know. <laughs> well it's cool because so. that uh uh it's my dad's great great uncle and him and teddy roosevelt ted Teddy, I like to call him. <laughs> would Uncle Teddy? <laughs> Uncle Teddy. <laughs> Teddy. We always um, go by first names. Yeah, right here. Teddy. He he'd come out there. Wait, where's and that hunt. name drop button? <laughs> <laughs> push it, push it. You need to push it every time. Every time we talk about Where Teddy. Heidi's <laughs> name. <laughs> I feel like I'm touching some something I shouldn't be <laughs> touching. <laughs> but they would they would go hunt. And they were really, really great friends. And so my, I always heard the story as a kid. But there were other stories from the same guy who founded that. So he's actually from upstate New York. And the book, The Headless Hor- Horseman, um, Washington Irving wrote it about my my family or my ancestors it would be i'm not sure what wait, year wait, that was wait, built what? oh my gosh wait that's okay, wait, this okay like, wait oh well, you didn't share this yeah much. <laughs> okay what so have you ever heard have you ever um seen uh sleepy Ho- hollow yes yeah. okay of course, yes yeah. so it. christina ricci plays her name is katrina van tassel and so she married oh, and it's actually yeah. it takes it's from he named her after I forget the real woman's name. She was like, it was an, like an Eleanor Van Van Ta- a Tassel. And that was like his friend. Like those were his friends. Oh my god! So if you go up H- Hudson River, or I think it's in H- Hudson Falls, every street is like Van Ta- Tassel Avenue. There's a Van Ta- Tassel. Oh my gosh. Wow. Isn't that cool? So, yeah. So, so when I was a little kid, I would get these books of sleepy ho- hollow and not like you know like sleeping beauty and cinderella yeah i got like right. <laughs> this horseman's gonna come and take you away which is what's oh, wrong with me right now great, great, great cousin <laughs> exactly yeah. horrifying mine but so that was always cool and then those they 
moved out there out to wyoming, wyoming. When, one of them did and then they oh started this town or then he moved he didn't want to be he, he got mad right yes. he got mad that yes. they named the town after, after him, him and moved to jm, JM. yeah yeah he bought the town he bought the JM. town of jm which we were actually um in also which is an amazing little town but um we had already had that on our list of places to go before yeah. our Oh, before we, you even knew you did? Before, yeah, no, that wow. was one of the places yeah. that they said you have to you see, have to like, see. as far as ghost towns. It's on, like, you know, we kind of looked oh, up, like, what ghost, ghost, towns. ghost towns yeah. must you visit? And so JM was actually on one of them. And then oh. when you mentioned Van Tassel, I'm like, why do they not have Van Tassel on there? Like, because yeah. your town was really super cool, too. Super, super cool. To go see. But yeah, no, I was also reading about your great, great, great uncle. Mm-hmm. Um, what was his name? Runs Rensel Rensselier Rensselier Skyler Rensselier Sky. Wow, <laughs> I'm butchering his name. Yeah. Um, oh he yeah, was, right here. Yeah, he was so upset that he wouldn't even have his goods delivered to the train depot in Van Tassel. Really? Because like, he yeah. was he was so mad that they named a town after him, and he and did who not named want it after him. You know did, what? Did, that's did it a say? Good question. Yeah, they did say. I should know. But, no, we'll look. Um. I don't, and I wonder how uh, big the town was when it first started. Yeah, because it's um, he had five wives. Yeah, I just read that right now. <laughs> Did you know? Yeah, surround his namesake's village by marrying Wait. one. Of, okay, yeah. hold on a second. We got to go a little bit of history on history. <laughs> <laughs> read a little bit of that because I'm Tyler Van Tessel here. I come from a classy <laughs> line of people. <laughs> I see this. Um, Wait, Mary um, one, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, Mary, one of his five wives. Van Tassel had acquired the land surrounding his namesake village by marrying one of his five wives and treated the community like an illegitimate child. Oh, I think he, I remember ignored, he ignored the town and its residents and even insulted it by shipping in supplies for his Van Tassel ranch from Cheyenne instead of nearby Van Tassel Depot. <laughs> He was, in 1877, <laughs> he purchased the JM Ranch from its owner, Jim Moore. Then he waited until Jim Moore died and married his widow. Just, you know. Oh, yeah. Because yes. yeah. <laughs> he was this trying to turn into a soap opera. He was trying Jesus to create a land for his empire. Like, gather as yeah, much land yeah, as he can he for can. his Yeah, empire. and look what happened. Wow. It's a ghost and town. A, yeah, it's, it's really thriving. <laughs> Literally. You have to. It's a city. <laughs> It's all of so, um, 1.83 1. 1. 1. 8, 1. 8, square miles. <laughs> yes. That's crazy. So, yeah, I, yeah you so, can just stand at one end and pretty much see to the other end. Wow. Yeah. Does your family ever talk about how did he meet Teddy Roosevelt? Is it because when he lived on the East Coast or? I believe it was. And I guess he was just, I guess, uh, Roosevelt li- liked to hunt. So oh, okay. back then, like when you Got went it. out, you hunted and Montana and Wyoming. That was where you you had yeah. for big, whatever they game. had, big game moose or <laughs> yeah. whatever it was. Um, but yeah, they. So the my buffalo. dad. So my dad never knew. He didn't know his 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 father, his birth father, until late, later on in life. So then he found out all these sto- these these stories oh. from his cousin, oh. and they're so cool from the yeah. American Indian part, and then like that, like. That Share story. with us a little yeah. bit about the American Indian. So I don't know who that would be. That would, it's like my great, 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 great uncle or whatever. Um, she was on, she was named Ken Katanaris and she was known as the Long Island Pocahontas. And so, back then so they cool. don't say it now, but they called her a princess. And I, I remember I was at a, at a coffee shop in, uh, there was a woman that was pa- passing by, a girl, a very young girl. She passed by, and um, I was telling a friend, I'm like, oh, my God. And I come from this, like, this princess, and she stopped. She goes, excuse me, I didn't mean to over, you know, I just overheard. And I'm like, yeah, you did. You were listening. And like, excuse me. <laughs> like, cause she had stopped and was listening. And she goes, I am half American Indian, and it's a disgrace that you just said the princess word. We don't say that anymore. And I'm like, well, I don't know. I just found out I was. And then I said, but it's it's like like it's online. And she goes, no, it's not. They don't even they've never used that. And so I go, just a minute. Hold and on. I and I googled <laughs> it and I showed her. And she goes, oh, well, I apologize. But I mean, like now that. So anyhow, but oh. she was known as that. 
And actually, her and she was her... She just upset that she was related to the right? princess yeah. of Long Island. Island. Yeah. Long Island Pocahontas. Yeah, I don't know you. what a, like, a, I was like, what a compliment that that is, but... <laughs> oh, she was jealous. Long, yeah. Long Island. Um, but uh, she uh, was, was kidnapped when she was like 14 with these other uh, American Indian girls. And then um, my, my, my relative, I think his name was like... Damn it, sorry. I think it's like Dan. It's not Dan, but it's like <laughs> Rick. <laughs> that was a good name back then. <laughs> Rick went and got, let's call him Rick. <laughs> he went and he helped look for them and he helped uh, rescue her. And then they wow. got mar- married. And so oh she was, and she had a, a daughter named da- Daisy Van Tassel. And that's how it started, the whole like lineage. Wow. And then, wow cool i thought it was i really think cool. that's really cool because when i did 23 and me i was like oh my god i'm native american and my and what out like are you from european did somebody come over like or uh, it's, it's dutch. dutch so okay. we we're from the island of van T- van van texel t-e-x-e-l-l everything's named oh, after the van texels i'm telling you learning this. i'm sorry but you're royalty here <laughs> oh my gosh and you just want to be mayor like <laughs> thank you come on hello i mean the queen just passed that's a downgrade. move over <laughs> that's a downgrade mayor <laughs> i know i mean you've heard of down <laughs> what's what's that show uh Anyhow, um, <laughs> she's sorry. Don't laugh, Dan. <laughs> Wait, hold, hold on. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Bring um, it all back. Circle around. But so, so okay, so we have that. And then, uh, so I didn't know any of this. And then we learned about the about the Montauk so you tribe. Just, so you just recently. Like a, like a year and a ha- half ago. And I told my boyfriend and he was laughing. He's like, oh, okay, red hair, freckles, sure, Pocahontas. Okay. <laughs> That's a, you know what my family makes fun of me too. There was like everybody claims they're Native American. Yeah, but, but you yeah. you look na- yeah. Native American. Yeah, yeah totally. She does. Like you. Yeah, she definitely does. Because I grew up in East Texas, and uh, a lot of my friends were from Oklahoma. Oklahoma, Oklahoma and yeah. you you have you. I have the Oklahoma. Here. I was born in Oklahoma. Yeah, Midwest oh, really? city, yeah. Oklahoma. Oh yeah. I was born in Oklahoma. Yeah. Oh. So where where, where in Midwest Oklahoma? city, Oklahoma. Wow. Yeah, outside of Oklahoma City. See? So yeah. Um. But so. So we found out. I was all, born in Los the... Angeles, California, just in case anybody was wondering. <laughs> Where? Italian, what? Italian. Right yes. what? I'm, from, I'm Sicilian, if anybody yes. cares. <laughs> oh, nice. I no, do care. No, no, it's not Native American. Stop. No, just kidding. Sorry. <laughs> well, it was actually. Yeah, no, this actually, was part yeah. of, yeah. Yeah. Mexico, true. right? And that's the original, right? Which was one? this Mexico? Um, yeah. Was it? it oh, was, yes. California, California, California was Mexico. Yes, it yeah. was. Yeah. Yes, it was. Um. Any, anywho, <laughs> so I found out, and he made fun of me, and then he saw the twenty three me. He's like, oh, and then he saw the stor- story. He was like, oh, okay, all right. It's so cool, that's though. I mean, cool. that's that's. I don't know. I think and that's a very. I cool actually thing. got a hold of the people at twenty three me because oh. I was I got very upset because I'm because and then he said everyone is Native American. No, they're not. No. So I got a like like I asked them what's the percent percentage of people, and they're like very low it's it's mainly oh, like interesting sub-saharan africa and stuff like that so anyhow yeah, really? so there's that and then the sleepy ho- hollow and then wyoming and then george van T- tassel came out of ohio and he's relatives with Ren- rensselaer and he's so he's my i think it was my dad's like is there a great cu- cousin or like say, yeah. second cu- wow. cousin like or something, something. Like th- third re- once removed yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i never understood that yeah, once I removed either. i thought they were like, yeah i thought um, it was just like second third yeah yeah so I he tried looking that up he worked difference. for H- howard hughes and oh. he was a ufologist is that what you call him you uf ufo ufo dance shaking ufologist and he um built the integratron which is in land landers california oh i was gonna say there's a <laughs> land there's, there's wyoming. wyoming oh really <laughs> yeah. yeah there's a lander wyoming, lander but, wyoming. but it's in california it, yeah and he uh had said that he heard from the um people from v- venus oh. and they explained him to him how to make this um this building and you guys have to go yes. please go yes. it's oh, yes. insane <laughs> um like uh what's his name uh uh my god sorry 
It's Anthony Bourdain had went oh, there yeah. and he okay. did two episodes there. Um, and what it is, it's a building that he made that is a, a it's a circle um, and the sound inside, like he made it like a um, smashing pumpkins will go and record there. And oh. Led Zeppelin. Zeppelin has been there. Like Robert okay. Plant has, has been, good, been there. Like, amplification yeah, there's something for, I'm saying okay. it wrong right now. The acoustics are the good. Acoustics. Yeah, I should have my notes, but um, <laughs> the acoustics are amazing. And what he said was, is that he made it like that. So the Venetian, um, I think it's the Venusians, right? Or oh, the, the Venetians the from yeah, Venus? would come down uh, when he built this. Oh my And gosh. then, so he, him and his wife had a, uh, like a di- diner inside of a mountain outside in the desert so that I, this what? for some reason this is sounding familiar to me yeah and okay. she would bake these peach pies so that's what they were known for and then he started to build this and he had worked for all these these big guys like the oh government and stuff like that and then all of a su- sudden after he built this he died mysteriously so i want to make a movie about, about it yeah. but but his wife always said they killed him and people were like, who? Who are they? Yeah. And she thinks the government came because he knew too well, much knew or too he much. was like saying that he saw these these creatures and these things and he talked to them and back then. I feel like I just read something about yeah, this. It sounds so familiar to me. Yeah. And back then, like people, I mean, especially like, I think about when we would watch like like shows about like, yeah, I just saw a UFO and they have like right. one tooth in their head and you're yeah. like, oh, yeah. okay, whatever. Yeah. But now, now it's, it's out there oh, yeah. that some it's real. It's, oh, yeah, it's, it's kind it's, of amazing. Like some of the stories that have come out. I don't remember who we were talking to about it, but you know. Dan? Like, was it Dan? <laughs> yes, that's right. It was Dan. About yeah. the boys in, where's the mic, Dan? Um, I know. Okay. About the, oh, the African. Yeah. Yes. The, yeah, the. Like the boys in Africa. That all from the all school. All the kids at the school. Yeah. South yeah. Africa who all saw the same. Give me a thumbs up if I got the right location. Zimbabwe. 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 There we go. The voice from above. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you, Venetians. Um, <laughs> the um, Zimbabwe. Those are great yes. acoustics. I know. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah. Yeah. So he's so fascinating. He supposedly died of a heart attack, but she's so I became friends with. They would be my third cousins, and that that was his daughter, his daughters. And um, mm-hmm. I became acquaintances with them. I got in t- touch with them. And then so uh, about seven years ago, I went to Landers and I went and uh, a, a pair of si- sisters, a pair of sisters, <laughs> these sisters had bought the place. And um, so I got a tour, like a special tour. And I went in there and they do sound baths there. Yeah. But she's like, I want to show show you this special spot. And you stand in the middle of it, and it is like nothing you've ever felt before. It is the craziest, weirdest thing. You feel like you're about to like take off into outer space, and it's the it's this. I don't know what it is. It's the there's air. There's you oh feel lightweight. You feel wow. you don't feel your part part of yeah Earth. Earth. Where, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Where is Landers? La- Landers is like, like out by Joshua Tree. Oh, oh, so it's not that far oh, from not us. Not at all. Yeah. Oh, okay. And day trip. Yeah. Okay. And I, I mean, I mean, all I have to do is like, like I'll send them a message. I'll be like, it's the Van Ta- a Tassel Gold. She's like, yep, just come on. So I felt like yeah. royalty there. Like I was oh like, oh my god. But I mean, people thought yeah. thought he was nuts, but pretty cool. Aren't George Van cool? Tassel. That's, that's actually pretty cool. But they all yeah. come from the same. Like we're all from the same people from yeah. Wyoming, mm-hmm. and then right. All yeah. God. Pretty interesting. I feel interesting like stuff. every tassel, Van Tassel, you run across would be related <laughs> to you. Every tassel that you come across, I have a pair too. <laughs> I wear them on Halloween, <laughs> and, that's, the, and that's not a lie. Woo-hoo! Or her daughter's tenth birthday. <laughs> oh my god! But the worst is when people are like, "What's your last name again?" I'm like Van. You know, they're like Van. I'm like, you know, like the Van, and they're like tassel i'm like yeah you know like the and then i go to say Oops. that yeah. and i'm like like you know like <laughs> yeah. when you grad like when, when you graduate, graduate yeah. but what i want to say is you yeah. know the tassels the things yeah. that are connected to your pasty <laughs> exactly yeah that's hilarious. um yeah. well we're not done with heidi yet because heidi's a really interesting girl oh boy so <laughs> <laughs> so i wanted uh i wanted heidi to tell us a little bit or a lot of bit whatever she wants to share about um her childhood my childhood oh my god <laughs> just kidding <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get her to cry no um, i was born and raised a jehovah's witness and somebody just sent me um a podcast called 
Time uh, suckers. Yeah. Yeah. Or, have, have you heard of that before? I mm-hmm. listened to the podcast before, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, I've never heard of it. Yeah. It's great. I've never heard of it. Yeah. Is but it really good? It's it really good. Um just real quick, just to catch me up a little yeah. bit. Were you born and raised in California? No, I was or born in I was born, born in, in Wisconsin and then okay. raised in East Texas. Okay. Um and then back to Wisconsin when I was like seventeen. Okay. But um so I was born and raised in that and then um the well the Times a, a suckers has a special like two hour edition or whatever he does about it's you know it's a doomsday cult but when i grew up in it it was just it, we it was called the truth it was my religion that i was in and it was just normal my parents sort of when it went along with everything so it was a cult oh it, I, it is jehovah's witnesses are a cult and and what this guy was saying saying was really true is he's like i've met some really great jehovah's witnesses so it doesn't mean i think there's a quote like don't <laughs> not hate the player hate the game but yeah. hate the sin the don't some something don't hate this like the sinner because of the sin or don't right. like judges so i mean my parents were highly intelligent people but they but their parents were jehovah's witnesses but at a late like when they were like 13 so it's it's what they knew right and it's it all becomes emotional black blackmail because what they do is if you don't believe in it anymore you don't go anymore then they excommunicate you but not in a way where it's 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 in a a horrible like you're an orphan way like you're like you're considered dead so when i was like 19 20 i was disfellowshipped and i was considered dead so no by choice why no i was i joined a metal or i joined a band and uh as one does and she's a rock star <laughs> and like inside a rock star take and back the layers <laughs> and yeah. inside of our first uh rec- first record it said we we renounce god so i mean whatever <laughs> <laughs> so a little jehovah's Wit- witness kid went to like uh T- tower records in chicago and he got it and i remember because i remember the kid an asshole oh. and he went to his dad and he you goes want to name drop him no, yeah. Just, yeah yeah name Fucking drop that one turd <laughs> not worth it turd turd <laughs> um and then he he showed the like the kingdom hall of jehovah's witnesses it's not called a church they don't call, call it a church right yeah. and um he showed his dad he's like this is he- heidi and in it is like upside down cross it's a pentagram and then they thought i worship satan and i was disfellowship and that fast and not even that quick. not even well like they're a- supposed to have a meeting with with you but because i had just broken up with a guy that i was engaged to because what you do as a jehovah's witness you can't there's no christmas there's no birthdays right. there's, there's nothing there's only wedding anniversaries right so you get so that's married literally the only thing you can celebrate the only thing okay. and you get mar- married when when you're really young because you can't have sex before mar- marriage, even though right. everyone does as a Jehovah's wit- right. <laughs> Witness. Like the only the thing secrets. you can do is drink. Yeah, I mean, and that's you drink a lot. You know, you can dance. It's not like that. It's not like a, you can't listen to me like like to yeah music you just have or anything. To listen to the right kind of music, right? I w- I would think though, you know, the drinking with a lot of drinking comes a lot of sex, but you can't have right? sex, but you can do a lot of drinking. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, like, yeah. there's a lot of it's crazy. But they're allowed to. What is it called? Um, Masturbate? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> what? We're allowed to what? Dan, can you help me? You know what I'm talking about? Soaking? Yeah. Yeah. What's or soaking? Is that, am I thinking, is that, is that not, um, I don't think that's is that that's Mormons? Mormon. That might be Mormons. Well, it, it you know, Mormons. that, that all started. Soaking. Um, Wait, what is soaking? Yeah, what's soaking? So it's well it's are we do we have to label this one as explicit yeah it's, I, oh. it's basically having sex but that you just sit there and soak Correct? yeah are you are you in a bathtub dan can explain soaking it. no you put it in and you just leave it there yeah you put oh it you in can't and yeah, just you just can't move you can't move and to oh, them as long as you don't move then and then you're not having sex you're not having sex you're just kind of just laying there oh okay yeah but i think i think maybe that's mormon's Oh, well, it all started around the same time because it was uh, on the East Coast. It was called the um, uh, the burning. Oh, my God, this is awful. The burning down period or the burning some something. And it was in the 
1880s when like religion was up for grabs and everybody was like oh let's do this and the mormon guy was like i found these books and i said i have five wives and his and then yeah. his and then his wife was like what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> and then he's like oh wait you need special gla- glasses. glasses you can't see it oh you know only i can and she's like what and yeah. that's how yeah. that's how the Mor- mormon st- started, started. Yeah. no and they came to it's find insane. out like, like i guess there was something where they found like these writings and he was like trying to decipher he said like this yeah. is what it says and it's yes. not really what it's it not says what it says when they f- hieroglyphics or something yeah, and he, was like, oh, um, yeah he didn't find it like, he's, he's making stuff up insane and yeah. then so uh charles taze russell Ooh. started the uh, already in trouble third episode in yeah <laughs> right yeah. Oh, oh i'm sorry no 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 i'm just oh. kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> wait is this a christian show i'm yeah, sorry <laughs> Um, I didn't know that <laughs> I know Char- Charles Taze Russell he started the Jehovah's Witnesses at 18 but he was obsessed with he was an Adventist so he was obsessed with predicting the end of the world or the end of times and his dad was a preacher and he got mad at his dad this guy was a another turd like he was a brat like he came from a very like wealthy family um and he his dad uh, wanted him to come and join his, you know, he was a pro- Protestant, I believe. And he wanted him to join and to, and he said, no, 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 I'm going to do my own thing. So he was obsessed with like, oh, and you know, in 1944, the world's going to end. So you got to do this and this and this. And so then he, that's how that's Jehovah's how Witnesses started. And his wife um, was with him and she was one of the first w- women to like gra- graduate co- a college. And she was a teacher and she took over the Watchtower and the Awake, the like the pamphlets. Right. And she did all the right writing of them. And then he got mad at her. But he also was f- flirting with all these 14-year-old girls. And she found out because they were all in the same house somehow. But there's actual like court da- data that I found. And he was a philanderer, it said. Oh and he God. was awful. But he told her, if you drop this lawsuit, I'll give you the house but you can't say anything else about what's going on. So she dropped oh it God. and it's all in the court it's there. Yeah. Wow. He was a fucking asshole. Damn. Yeah. So anyhow, so that's how oh that, that, God. that's who started this. But as a kid, I didn't yeah, know, you that. know that. Yeah, you don't, you're just no, going you're by just what, going yeah, by what my religion. Like mm-hmm. that's, you know, but it fucking sucked as a kid. I had a, you know, a stutter, bright red hair, sweaty, always sweaty face like so you go from door to door at a young age you knock on the door and you're like hi my name is Heidi Van Tassel and I'm with with sister or brother brother so and so we're out oh my god we're out preaching or we're out talking to your na- neighbors about uh a paradise on earth and what do you want to live forever forever it was like twilight i was what? like i was like <laughs> wait a second we're a vampire it was and that's what i did as a young kid and you were supposed to take your money that you got and put it in the box at the kingdom hall and instead i had his red little um p- pocketbook and we would take co- like coffee breaks at the donut shop <laughs> And I always, I, I got mine because people <laughs> felt bad for me. I think they're like, oh my God, well, this yeah. poor child with this bright red hair and her sweaty little freckly face. <laughs> like, she's like, um, and then I would take it and I would pretend like I'd put it in the box at the Kingdom Hall, but I never did. I bought cherry um, fr- frosted um, do- donuts <laughs> with it. <laughs> Deserved it. And my mom was always like, Where, where'd you get that? And I'm like, I don't know. Scott, mm, no, they just gave it to the me. people from people. door to door. They just <laughs> out. We All got treats along stuff, the way. Yeah. But man, I grew. You know, I grew. I grew up. I mean, it was crazy. But but my parent parents are awesome. And my dad went to um pr- prison. Are they still practicing? No. No. Um, okay. My mom really just you know wants nothing to do with it. Um, and my dad went to pr- prison for for it. So he oh. was seventeen. And he was a conscientious objector of the war of Vietnam, and he never liked to t- talk about it because people were like, "Oh, you're not, you're not American, you know, right. you, know you didn't." Yeah. yeah. But I, he, it was his religion. So yeah. there were like a thousand of them of Jehovah's Witnesses, or maybe more, and they were all either sent to maximum security pr- uh, prisons. That was going to be my next question. Or they were like a handful of them, um, including his stepbrother or his half brother um, worked in, uh, he worked in, in a hospital. 
And I'm like, how did they choose that? My dad's like, it was like a, like a lot, like a lot of lottery. Yeah. Wow. But there were only a handful of them that went there and then a bunch of them. So my mom had moved to Missouri. This was in maximum security in, uh, um, not St. Louis, but, um, somewhere in Missouri. I'll think of it. And, um, my mom moved down there with a couple other girls that had, had boyfriends and their, their husbands. And, uh, my mom said every, like on a Sunday they'd pull up or they'd walk there. And my mom was, they were so poor. Um, but so they walk to the prison and they would see a horse and car- carriage there because they also put in the, um, not the Amish, but there's another sort of another, not the Qua- Quakers. It was something, I forget what it was, but they had some of the kids from there in the, pr- in the oh prison as well. God. And she said she'd walk up and you would see this young guy in like you know the like the Amish garb, yeah, yeah, and his head up against the fence and sob and sobbing. Oh, oh my! I mean, God. maximum security. And my dad. What year was this? Uh, when did World War or when did uh in the Vietnam? 60, 1967, 68, 69 to seventy five or something. so? It like must even have been earlier too. Like I think it actually, started, but like when the like I wonder when they everything. drafted people. I wonder when they started to draft people. Because Muhammad Ali was in there, not in the the prison that my dad went to, but he was in there. But then they got him out through like a loophole. Yeah. And then there's now, I think there's a, a, a new law or a new um, clause. clause that, yeah. yeah. But but my dad has these stories that are insane. There was a lot of the gaudy guys were in there. So oh, a lot of the yeah. hit, like, like, the, hit like the hit men. Yeah, the gangsters. Yeah, and he became friends because my dad was like this awesome guy yeah. that played the the guitar and he was so funny and cool and he would read his newspaper on top of this the serial killer and i will find his name out (gasps) he has a book of him and he would sit he would sit on his back and read the paper and the guy would do um like (gasps) push-ups with my dad dad on his back that is so funny but the place where the jehovah's witnesses were was called kingdom row because of the kingdom hall and kingdom row yeah i just i've always wanted wanted to do a story about oh, that yeah, i wonder it's so have, interesting because yeah. no nobody knows about yeah that that and they were in there for a year and a day and the reason why the government did that is so they were um a felon and you could never own a gun which my dad's like i don't want to own a yeah. gun but yeah. he was a felon, a felon at 19 wow. because of his religion of that. so he has a little my point was is that he has a little bit more of a uh not faith, but he has those, you know, because yeah. he went through all of that. Course. If I went yeah. to pr- yeah. prison for s- uh, something. Absolutely. But as he, as the time goes by and he sees what they did to me and it, it's a little bit, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm older and just this summer I got asked to leave a house because I'm an ex, I was, I'm, I'm disfellowshipped. It was my, I, I was mar- married and my husband's mother is a Jehovah's Witness, okay. unfortunately, of all the guys in the fucking world. <laughs> wow. It's like insane. But he wasn't. No. He but, wasn't. No, because that's that's the thing I was listening to to the to this 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 podcast, and he said 68% of Jehovah's Witnesses are women. Oh. And and then he was like, I wonder why, but I know why. Is because what they do is they get you at your weakest. Right. And a lot of these women are in bad relationships. Right. So Makes when sense. they go door door to door. This woman is all alone at home with her kids or whatever, and her Needs, husband who just yeah. pun- punched her in the face or yeah, you know, yelled at her or whatever. Now she and, has an outlet. Yeah, and they come to the door. They look up the obituary and see who who died. And I remember really? being in the van as a young kid, and we would look through the pa- paper and go to these people's homes. And say, wouldn't you want to see your love, your so and so, whether it's oh Greg or Dave or whatever? Don't you want to see them and the new, new, new system of things? And they're like, oh my god, yeah. And then, wow, yeah, and there they are. But it's still, still, I never thought of it as a cult until I, till I left and I stepped back. And I was talking to my mom this morning, and I was like, critical thinking, and we were never ever told to. Uh, research on our own to think on our own right. never allowed right. yeah. because look at what you would yeah, find out you find out they that didn't it's, want you to find any yeah. of this out since the internet has the numbers dropped i believe in- so he said too there's a 30 
38, where was it? 38 percent of people who grow up in it who are born and raised in it leave yeah that's a high number that's wow. that two-thirds or, or I'm, that's ba- I'm bad with math but yeah. that's it's a lot because as soon as you get to a certain age you're like this is insane well, like, yeah i mean it's a dumb question but like wasn't that really shitty and hard to grow up not having like Oh my god! A birthday? Why well, did okay? This is not so. I I didn't know because I never had one, yeah, so I, I didn't know what I was. Different. But like yeah. your friends and everything, like oh were you god. allowed to go to birthday parties, like to celebrate your? No. So oh in the first grade, we were still in Wisconsin. We were just about to move to Texas, and my cousin was in my grade, and there was this kid in there who had a, a birthday, and I I remember it was like it was like yesterday, and he his mom brought in like a Tupperware. And she had Hershey bars in there that to me looked like a huge, gigantic, like Willy Wonka, like, oh my God, yeah. like, and he passed them out for his birthday. I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. My cousin like looked, looked at me and she was like, mm, don't, you can't take that. And I took it and I put it in my back po- pocket and we lived across the street from the school. So I walk home and on my way home in the first grade, I'm, I eat this candy bar and I guess I have chocolate all over my face <laughs> and my cousin had already been picked up, told her mom, my aunt went home and called my mom. And as oh I walk God. in the door, my mom said that she remembers she looked at me and I was like, <gasps> and my mom was like, did you, did you take a birthday treat? And I was like, no. And she's like, well, what's on your face? And I, I guess I was like, nothing. Like, you know, like, what's oh on your face? No, but I was like, yeah. nothing. And then I, mean, I had chocolate over. I got in tr- trouble. I got grounded. It was hor- so that, But so I, as a kid, I was always asking things. And I was like, why can't we c- celebrate birthdays? Like, where, it is, where is it in the Bible? And they'd always say, you just have to have faith. It's because of Ju- Judas. I'm like, Judas? What does he have to do? Like, I'd always, as I got older, I was very, you like... You start questioning. Yeah, and but I was a little bit more, more like, this doesn't, if I could swear, like, fucking make sense. Like, yeah. What? yeah. So now I learned that after Charles Taze Russell, there was another guy. I forget his name right now. <laughs> but he actually, in 1943, said, there's going to be no beards and no birthdays. I was like, what was it, the fucking bee month? Like, so, wait, so before this, they could celebrate birthdays? Yep. And you could have a so, beard. The wow. women could could wear pants. It's a very, it, the this this religion, I call, I you know, um, it's very much against w- women having their own voice. Yeah. Like, you're not allowed to pray alone. If you pray, you have to put some something on your head. As a young kid, we were told um, that as a girl, you could clean homes and maybe be a secretary, but that was pushing it because you'd be out in the world. So it's very like, wow. uh, what's the word? Like, like insular? Is that the, yeah, like yeah, you're very, that. very like, you're not a, a, yeah, a part of this world. You nothing. don't vote. You don't do anything. Nothing. Not, not nothing. a part of anything. Nope. Because they're scared. Well, of course. Because if you go you're out and you start out. to talk, of you're going to. Of course, gonna, then you're going to figure everything out. Yep. And that's what yeah. they don't want. The, the yeah. Eddie Murphy stand-up comedy. Oh, I'm sorry. What? No, it just what? reminds me of I'm Eddie like, Murphy oh? Raw. I love when him. He, oh, Eddie Murphy Raw. Oh, I've, when he says I've, he goes, you know, he goes, yes. gets his wife yes. from a different country because yes. he she doesn't know about, you know, they get half. Oh, but then yeah. she comes over here and she starts talking to the women. Lo, oh, you can divorce him. You can get half. And she's like, Eddie, I want half. So it's Do you like, know I've you know, never this, seen that before? Oh, God, what? you have to. You have I know to I have Eddie to. I cannot Raw. believe I've never seen Raw. I've always been embarrassed to say I've never seen it, but I've never seen it. It's so funny what my mind connects to other things. I'm sorry well look at prince look at prince went so i was waiting (sighs) tables when i moved out here i still but um so i was waiting on these two girls and um she was asking me about what i do whatever and i I was like oh i just started to write a book about being a jehovah's witness and she was like what and she's like well the guy i work for it was wendy from when wendy and and Lisa. lisa And she's like, I'm in a band and the guy I work the for, revolution. I still didn't like click. And yeah. I, I mean, that was my like, oh my God, Wendy, like I loved yes, that. Lisa. I loved her. Yeah. The so water warm enough? We, oh my God. <laughs> yes, Lisa. Oh, love that. Um, and so it was her wife who was named Lisa, but it wasn't the Lisa, Lisa, but yeah. it was her, uh, Wendy. And she, 
we we became friends i have wow. lost touch i lost touch with her but she um was asking me quite like all these things because she's like i don't understand, understand it yeah and when they went on tour he'd bring her to the kingdom hall yeah. and she goes and he'd march up in the front row and i'd be like what the fuck are we what doing, are you doing? it's yeah. crazy but then in the end before he passed away like a couple years he disowned her because she's gay and married to a woman wendy Prince did this. Right. Prince, who sang about Darling Nikki. Nick, Darling like, Nikki. Well, like, well, really? You know, so, but he couldn't sing sing it anymore. He couldn't. Nope. And I'm huge. I'm, I'm a Prince fan. Me too. Me too. I, I love I, him I so do. much. I love Prince. Me too. And I've seen him multiple times, but I did see him. Um, did you see him at the Roosevelt when he play, played there? I didn't, but I saw him at the Forum. Oh, that's that's. That's the one. Yeah. And he started to play it and then he stopped and he said, I can't play this. You guys know I can't play this. But everybody, when he started to play Darling Nikki, everybody was looking like, oh, my God, is this really going to happen? And he stopped. But like, yeah, seeing him perform before. And then then I, w I was so disappointed because it didn't dawn on me like. He like, but, but what happened? What happened? Well, he, um, it's funny because I got to see him in 1985 of all people. I got to go see, I, I couldn't see Wham because George Mike, Michael was gay, but I could see, <laughs> and could I, see I didn't know that George Mi Michael was gay. I thought right. I was going to mar marry George. I had no yeah, clue when I, didn't when even, I was did little. Did anybody oh, know that in 1985 no. that George Michael was gay? I don't, I don't even think, think so. Yeah. But so wait, 1985, you saw Prince in so 1985? I was 14. It was the one where, um, that was, I mean, Purple Rain was 84. So. so it was Purple Rain or it was, ap it was a year after that because he was in a bath bathtub on stage. Just yeah, in a freaking that, bathtub. Yeah. That's when Doves like, Cry. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so I've been a fan and I don't know what, ha what I don't know how or why, but I remember my mother-in-law had gone to an assembly and the, these are things they have in the summertime. It's a huge convention and they come from miles around and that was always a fun thing because I would get dresses like for, it's a four day event and I get a few dresses. And then, I mean, us girls were always like looking for the guys. Like, yeah. so we had <laughs> binoculars because it was always at a stadium. I wasn't paying. At, at, I didn't care about this, yeah. you know, whatever. And then I would make ho hoagies in the morning. So at so for lunchtime, so we would sell. Food, yeah. So we'd sell. But I like made them for the whole like for, state. For everybody. Yeah. Like wow. you had to like. But um, she said she sat next to him or around him or whatever. And I was like, so what? But how did he become it? And I think because he started to become addicted to painkillers and he was on fent fentanyl, so how he died because he was in so much pain. Yeah. I really think he sort of like lost it. Like I really think he. So he wasn't brought up. Not at all. Witness. Okay. Nope. Because I, I, I don't know why for some reason I just always thought he was. And so I just. No. I don't know. I was like, what happened? And but it like, was so weird because it was in Minneapolis too. And I mean, there's a, I mean, they're all over the place, but it's so strange to me to think that he, I mean, Prince, he's so, I mean, because they can't like blood transfusions. They can't. No, I used to car carry um, um, a card in my wallet or in my purse when I was a kid that had a, like a Ghostbusters thing, you know, like the so no. So like not even life-saving measures. No. Nothing. I have a friend of mine. They had a two-year-old uh, daughter and um, this was years ago and uh, she needed a blood transfusion or she was going to die. And they had they went to the elders and who are the like kind of like, I guess, the priests in the congregation. They talked to him about about it. And he's like, well, you know, it's not what Jehovah wants. So, you know, it's in the Bible, blah, 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 blah. And so they didn't. And their daughter died not more than five months after that. There's um a, there's a, a thing called uh, Bethel and it's in it used to be in Brooklyn and they sold it for billions of do of dollars like that land and now it's upstate New York and um there's a governing bo body and there's seven men that are like 85 years old and above like they're just like you know one 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 ethnic guy and they're all white guys and they decided that it's up to you it's up to your conscience now. And wow. my friends were like, are you, are you kidding? Are you me? kidding my me? And they started a radio show, which I guess was before like pot, 
like podcast about against Jehovah's Witnesses, which I'm considered an atheist now. And it's a big, huge deal. Wow. Because at these conventions, we'd go into to them and they'd be there'd be a big group with signs like you killed my daughter without a blood transfusion. Well, that's um, crazy because my daughter had a blood transfusion at nine days old. And if she didn't have it, she would have died. She yeah. had yeah. open heart surgery. So if you would have been a Jehovah's Witness, that would have it's that have ridiculous. Happened. But then they were told. No, it's wow. up to you. Crazy. After the fact. Yeah. Yeah. Five, like maybe four months. That's so like, sad. What? So I think my mom really has an issue with the fact that my dad wanted to be a pilot and he was going to school for, for, for that. And the, and the elders of their congregation said, no, 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 you can't do that. But yet they, the people, you know, the elders had really great jobs and built homes and had money and my mom and dad were left with like trying to fend wow. for, for themselves and still yeah. are at age 77 still have to work so it's hard not yeah. to become bitter i know you have to move well, on yeah but i mean it's hard i mean an easy thing to do because that because the guy on that podcast said like a percentage like 92 percent, maybe that was a bit much but it's up there are they they live on 30,000 thousand or below a year that's crazy that's below the pot that's, 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 yeah. that's, that's poverty nothing. line that's yeah. nothing so there's still i mean they're still out there but like yeah here my in california was, thirty thousand, you wouldn't even be able to rent an apartment nothing. you'd be homeless yeah, yeah. You, couldn't. No. Like, yeah. you you wouldn't be able to live off that no yeah. there's no way that's no, nothing so, but that's what they do they 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 um when i when you get ba baptized as a kid you get ba baptized when, when you're like 14 and that's just what i did because my cousins were do, doing it yeah. but i dedicated my life to jehovah god is what they say wow. so i dedicate my life to going and going from door to door i had no clue are you kidding yeah, me of course. <laughs> and then that's how you get disfellowshipped is through that so my sister is 10 years younger and she is lucky because she never had to do any of that she never went through she any of that didn't have to do any of it so she gets it but she doesn't because she could well she didn't have to yeah and she got to go to school because yeah. we're not supposed to go to co college and better ourselves and yeah it's nuts it's not it's crazy to me yeah i didn't know too much about it all i knew is that when i was in right after high school i was really close i had a, it was friends kim too it was kim's best friend and we were all really good friends and she ended up um, meeting a guy deciding she was Catholic, but then she decided to become Jehovah witness cause that was his religion. And mm. uh, next thing you know, she's not talking to me. She's not, you know, it's just, yeah, it was your really weird. It's very, yeah. Cut off from everybody, yeah. but it's like uh, me, not so big deal. I met her senior in high school, whatever known you, you know, two, three years before this happens, hate me all you want, whatever. Didn't bother me too much. You know, I just didn't know what I did. Cause you kind of look at yourself like, what did I do? You know, right. did we have I'm a fight still the same, I don't remember. Yeah. I'm still <laughs> yeah. the same person, you know, I'm still the caring person that I was. Um, I remember she had a niece, I believe who passed away and I went, cause I was close with the family. I went to the funeral and she asked my friend, what's she doing here? And it's like, wait a second. I thought we she were friends. She probably needed a blood transfusion. I don't, I don't, <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. But it's like, it, it was just so bizarre to be like, how could you cut off everybody? Yeah. And then as time went on, she cut off Kim and like, it's just. Well, if you're, if you're, yeah. what I, what, what I see now is like, if you, if he's a God of love and you believe like you're like, God would never do that to anyone. Yeah. And that's what, um. Leah, Rem Leah, Leah Remini says, because she had a special, a two hour long special on Jehovah's Witnesses. Oh, okay. Cause because I see her Scientology stuff. Yeah. But you should check, check, oh, check it out check because them. it's similar because of what they do. And there's so, and, and, and she said, you can, you can tell a lot uh, by a cult or a religion is when you try to leave what happens, what to, happens to you. To, yeah. And so when you leave as a Jehovah's Witness, you're, you're done you're it's it's all emotional black blackmail i have a cousin that i just saw a few months ago when my aunt died and i was so much fun because i saw her and we were really close and she um like that i came home the next week and she had a health thing my mom said oh you should call her and i'm going I'm like i don't know I'll, I'll text her first 
I texted her. I said, hey, Angie, I just want to say hi. And my mom told told me what's up and can I call you? Took her about a day and a half and she wrote me this long thing about she prays for me and she knows I can do it, but I have to come back into the truth before I can ever speak to them again. So and she I was didn't like, want to talk to you. What? Like, it, yeah. It, and then I got asked to leave this summer at my, this, it's, it's a long story, but my. When we were there, when we were in Wyoming, you were in Wisconsin? Yep. I got asked to leave. Oh my God. And I was like, how many more times, like how it just keeps happening and happening. You just, so it yeah. affects you your whole life, but yeah. whatever. Now, now I know. And yeah. So but anyhow, yeah. was that more than you probably want to know? No, <laughs> like three, three hours no, later. There, there's just, there's, there's something else that I want you to tell your story. Cause you're so fascinating. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> yeah. So Heidi was involved in a little incident here in Los Angeles. Yes. When was it? I don't even remember. Uh, I know I've heard the story, but I don't remember. April 2019. Because okay. I remember because I said 2020 is going to be my year. Oh, my oh. goodness. So, no, we all. Like, yeah. I, yeah I okay, it's 2021. I remember. <laughs> it, it's hard to say that because in 2017, I remember thinking going into 2018, because there's a few things that happened in 2017, and I said, it can't get any worse in 2018. Ooh. And then my brother passed away. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. so it's like, you know, like, it, it's so I've learned not to say not that. Not to say that. Right, not going to work. Yeah, no. know, yeah, right? Yeah, so. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So I was um, uh, attacked by a homeless man, but I was vi violently attacked. And then after this attack, he poured a um, like a, a coffee can, like an old Fol Folgers can, full of his uh, his feces. Where did this in L.A.? Yeah, Were on you on Hollywood and Bronson. You were just walking? I was at a restaurant, my favorite Thai restaurant, and my boyfriend and his friend were inside. I parked out front because I was going to sa save a buck, and that's what you get for <laughs> saving $5. <laughs> um, and they left. They went, and I walked out front because there was a security guy there, too, who I reamed like, oh, I'm sure. that week. I, I walked in there. or No, I didn't walk, walk in there. We, we called I didn't really re re ream them out. But anyhow, so I, so I walk to my car and I'm opening up my car door and I hear this like really weird sound like a, like a, it wasn't shoes. It was something else. And I looked up and there was a huge guy like running full speed at me. And um, I was like, oh shit. And I remember I opened my car door, like I opened it more to get in to shut it, but it was too late. And he was yeah. like probably like six, two, six, he, he, he was a big guy. And he pushed me in, and then I remember I, I threw my purse down, and then uh, I went to get up and out, and I lived in Chicago. I thought I was, like, a tough girl, <laughs> but I'm not. And then I go to get – get. he pushed me in again. I hit my shoulder. Um, I think that's when they say they I tore the – like, I tore my um, my bicep. Oh, my God. Um, and then he – and I just went limp. So he didn't say a word. He just looked, he just looked at me. And, um, when I make a joke, like, I'm like, if he would have ha had a knife, he would have killed me. And I was like, I wish he would have ha had a knife <laughs> like, <laughs> instead of this. And I had my hair up in a bun and he pulled me out by my shirt and he poured the bucket, started to pour it on top of my head. And I felt like, um, like acid. So do you remember in the eighties with that girl? Okay. Remember the model? Yes, I do. Model? Yes. Yeah. On her face. Yes. Yeah. So this is a really gross question, but. Did he go to the bath? Like, did he have this already? Yeah, with he had him? it. Like, the or cops he like it. was like, "Hold on, I gotta go to the bathroom." No, no, no. He had he it was with carrying like it with him. some like so some. It was obviously where he was using the restroom. Yeah, and it happened like so fast that I didn't see he had some <clears throat> something. So he must have been. He was like carrying it, like with booking him. it, and then he was really strong and he was schizophrenic and bipolar and whatever else he was on meth or whatever he was on so he was i mean really strong yeah. did they arrest him well he so he did did that he poured it all over me i couldn't see so i'm in the middle of of hollywood boulevard and um and then all of a sudden I, he i'm just there and he and he left me and then um i started to scream because then i was like i like i realized what it what was what it was and uh cars went by and then this couple who had seen cats 
And I make the joke like, I mean, at least I have a sense of humor, but I'm like, <laughs> these poor people. People just it just saw cats at Pantages <laughs> and now this. Now like they, they're like yeah. what? we're never fucking going out in LA ever again. Yeah. They were they were from um the south, but they lived in Manhattan Beach. Oh. And um they pulled over and she grabbed me and she um he called the cops and then she had a Kleenex and they so I could see a little bit and when I opened my eyes, I was like, Oh my god, that's him and he was across the street where I guess his little camp was or his little yeah. den or his bed or whatever. And he was just sta- standing there, just staring at me. Oh my! God. And the cops came and they detained him. But they kept asking me. I remember they kept asking me st- stupid. Qu- I like, like I thought about this the other day. Like they were like, "Okay, so were you drink- drinking? Did you say anything?" I'm what like, is, "Who cares? What? <laughs> like, <laughs> shit? Like, yeah, well, yeah." But I didn't like, say a word. And this is the, this is funny because this is I feel before Los Angeles has become insane infested with you know and yeah. and different laws and stuff but the laws then were you could sleep wherever you wanted to sleep so they though so so he really wasn't doing anything no wrong. and the cops yeah. their hands are tied they can't do a thing anything, yeah so but this was, was assault yeah this, this was bad ha- i mean i feel like everywhere we are today like in today's world you're being recorded nothing was caught on film well with us yes so um they so the firemen came and i had to they had to strip off all my clothes except for my bra my underwear my socks because i mean i was soaked oh, with yeah. shit and my hair was up and i have thick hair so they undid my like like my ponytail and my bun and they're like okay so this is what we have to do we're we're going to make a shower a makeshift one around the fire truck and you're going to get in there with like they were the hottest firemen I've ever <laughs> fucking seen in my life. So I'm like, so really? You can really say you showered with hot fire? Yeah, like, oh yeah, I can. <laughs> Nobody Woo! needs to know anymore. Um, <laughs> and so my boyfriend had come at this time with my friend had gotten there before, and so my so my boyfriend was dealing with my car because after he had dumped it on me, he shook it out and it all went in my car. So they were like, oh. I mean, like chunks of fucking shit, you guys. That's oh my god! It was fucking like the cops. Did you sell said, the car? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I put it. Like, yeah, I, of course, I exchanged yeah. it for a lease. I was like, yeah, I, I feel like I, I want to get a new lease. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't take a big whiff. <laughs> um, but the cops said it looked like he had saved saved for like a month, like all his like oh, shit. Oh my god! Um, pl- plus he had he had pee, pee in there too because it was hot. Yeah. And yeah. So anyhow, so I, I, I'm being hosed down, and I remember I was like. Like Meryl Streep and Silkwood, and these guys were so young that they had they no didn't clue. Know what that was. And the guy was like, the hottest one, of course, is in there with me. And I'm like, I'm not bikini re- ready. Like I was just like <laughs> making jokes. Making I'm like, jokes. and then he's like, what's Silkwood? As he's like hosing oh me down with this, you know, like because he's like, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna be well, cold. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like Silkwood. And he's like, what's that? I'm like, it's a really good movie with Cher. And he's like, Whoa. <laughs> I was like crying. And he's like, at least you have a sense of humor of humor and then he was the one who started to say he's like you know he's like you really you really need to help us and i'm like what do you mean and he goes this the city of la loves home homeless pe- uh, people because they get paid for each one i mean this is a fi- fireman tell, tell, telling wow. me this and that could go on and on but but i won't but um and then they put me in the back of the ambulance and they drove up to this guy and when they asked him for id he gave them a cardboard box that had a stick fi- figure on it and uh they gave <laughs> so, so he gave him that but they shined the light 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 on him and they're like is that him and i was like yeah and i remember they're like are you sure and i'm like i will never fucking forget yeah. his face ever again it's imprinted in my mind forever so then come to f- this this happened and then i didn't know what to do next i didn't know there was like a like a victim's rights thing like no nobody told me a thing the detective the hospital nobody told you anything nobody told me anything because they 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 took me to the worst place ever it's the place by kaiser on ver on sunset and in vermont where i was treated like i did some some something wrong it was horrible it was awful it was just it was the worst. Like the guy, the doctor came in. He's like, "So, what are you in here for tonight?" And I go, "Do you have oh, notes or anything wow. that you that you could read? Because I really don't want to go, go over, over this <laughs> like, again. Yeah, like let's not talk." And about I smell it. like fucking shit. And he was like, "Oh, like what an attitude or whatever." And I was like, "Oh my god." So oh. anyhow, 
um, they arrested him, but I was like, he doesn't need to be in jail. He needs to be in a mental mental health health. facility. And um, uh, so a few months went went by, and my friend Joel Grover is an investigative reporter on NBC, and he was doing a show show called Streets of Shame. And he he asked me, he's like, will you be on my show? And I was like, absolutely not. I will not talk about this. No. He goes, please. And I was like, okay. So I did the episode, and of course, everybody – their take takeaway was, oh, please, you just want attention. Like there was half and half. It was like the weirdos, that's, trolls at home going, you know. I think that's yeah. just absolutely the most disgusting thing ever for somebody to see it like that. Yeah. Um, and when we were in Wyoming and you had posted something on your Instagram that. Ooh. Oh, the guy said, um, I Gina got lost my yes. fucking Oh, that's right. Mind. You sent him a message. Yes. I she, lost yes. my fucking mind. We were driving down the highway and she I was, was so just like, pissed. this motherfucker. Like, oh, three yeah. years late, later, you yes. find me and you tell me, like, why are white w- women so, so dramatic? So dramatic. Like, yeah. come over here come and let me so pour a fucking shit bucket on of you. shit on Thank your you. head. Thank you. Come over here. Let me pour some. But on the you. best oh. was is that he on his Instagram had all these things about because he was, love. yeah, because he was gay and yeah. he had like you know love this, love that, and I was like, what? Yeah, what are you yeah. talking about you fucking. Well, I I just don't I don't understand like what do you not have enough things in your life to do to keep you busy that you look for people to like just troll you don't even know like you yeah it's crazy no idea well i I think i told dan this that i was on this diet and they gave me these diet pills to go along with it and i accidentally took two and you're only supposed supposed to take one a day you're never supposed to take two well i took two within like an hour oh i sat on the couch and i was like and i went through a youtube video with thousands of comments about me and I went through and I answered every single one, one of them. And I was like, well, it actually wasn't just a, you know, <laughs> he didn't just pour a bucket of his feces. He violently attacked me. I like had to like be like, no, Good. it's not like, it's yeah, not. Yeah, you don't understand. Yeah. yeah. So, but so he was about the video thing. Um, I got attacked right in front of a um, hot hostel on Sunset. And there was right by my car, there was, so I went with him to investigate. And we walked in there because the cops didn't do a fucking thing. Of course not. They, but but I love police officers. I'm yeah, always, yes, you know. 100%. But these detectives didn't do anything because they really can't. Because when they, what, what are they going to do? They can't hold him in jail. They can't put him anywhere. There's no health care facility. So I yeah. think they were just like, nah, yeah. whatever, you know. But if they would have ca- caught it, they would have gotten a tape of it. So um, we went in there to this hot hostel and Joel's like, hey, that camera, where can we get that? And he's like, oh, we keep it for a week. And Joel's like, was there, do you, do you remember the attack that happened? The guy was like, oh yeah, that was great. That was nuts. I'm like, oh, that was me. He's like, oh my God, I was here that night. And then he said, yeah, he's like, we keep it for a week, but no, nobody came to, to, to ask it. for it. That's crazy. That would have been the first thing I asked. Detective yeah. 101. But I guess maybe what you're saying is that what, like you were like, he doesn't need jail. He needs mental health. Yeah. They already knew that he did it. It wasn't like a matter of who did it, where right. to find him. So maybe the detective work didn't need to be done. True. But still, but at still, least to have, have that evidence yeah. or to have that footage just in case or just, you know what I mean? Right. Like, it just, just make you feel like they're doing something to help you. Right. Well, well, and then I didn't. I also, so... What happened was is that when this came out, it was a huge, huge deal because we also we found out that when they let this guy go, they had him for a month at some facility. I don't know where where he, where he was. They actually asked him, "Where do you want to go?" And he went to the same spot. They're so just they it back off. they medicated him for that month and then they drop him off and you think he's going to come and get his pills? Of course yeah. Not. Like, so he's running around yeah, and now it's just gotten worse cycle. now. Yeah. That's yeah, three years ago. Cycle. It's just, it's worse. Oh, and that's so sad. My P- PTSD is it's off the charts right now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. Especially now. It's, it's, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Like, I don't know how, that's my story. Yeah. Well, well thank I you was, for sharing. Like that was, yeah. um, I'm so glad that you 
we're willing to share everything. But I that's know. how we it's met then. Stuff to share because I got on Re- Reform Radio. They asked me to come, come I, exactly, on. Exactly, and, and I almost how... didn't do do it. I almost didn't because I was like, they're just gonna like make fun of me and like be like, Ooh, <laughs> yeah. it's a shit storm. But then they didn't, and <laughs> yeah. I and I loved them, and I they and they felt like my my brothers or something. Yeah, they're yeah. amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, well thank, thank you so much. Thank you for, for sharing your time with you. us. Thank you, Dan. Thank you yeah, for yeah, wanting to have me on the of to talk about my excited. like. When she told me that, she, she's like, I am there. You know, like. We're doing this. Yeah. Yeah. She, like, like, just she tell said, me when, yes, when and where. It. Yeah. Yeah. So I wish absolutely. my boyfriend thought that that was. A cool I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I could tell stories. I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I digress. Anyhow. <laughs> All right. Good. Well, I'm excited so that you guys have this. This I'm very excited. Us too. Yeah. Us too. So um, where can they find us, Gina? They I can. leave it up to her. See, <laughs> she does the same see? thing to me yeah. that Dan does to yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, Fifty States of Madness. Well, you, I mean, it's simple for Is it www. No, just kidding. Yeah, I don't that's, know. That's just kidding. That's, I'm that's kidding. our website. That's <laughs> our website. Yeah, we do have. Oh, a it is. Yeah, we, we do. do. Have a oh, nice. We have a website. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so we'll we'll have um a lot of pictures up there, stuff that because we just. Well, not we. This one likes to take pictures. <laughs> nice. Um, and she then vid- take and then videos, too. Yes. Videos. Yeah. So nice. we're, we have a website that we're going to post um, for every episode. We'll have our podcast up there. We'll have um, a bunch more videos and pictures up there. And um, hopefully some merch pretty soon. Yeah. And yeah, cool. a bunch of stuff. So, yeah, yeah. we're um, on TikTok and Instagram. And YouTube, all 50 States of Madness, and our uh, Patreon, 50 States of Madness. Absolutely. The most important, the yeah, Patreon. The Patreon. <laughs> Patreon. Yeah. So um, Heidi is on Rare Form Radio with Dan. Yes. Um, you want to tell him where you're at? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to get there. We're on. T- um, we're Look, on. We're looking for a we're, we're on. Rare Form Radio <laughs> you, on, on, on YouTube. <laughs> dot slash rare form radio <laughs> i can feel his eyes burning a hole in the back of my head right now he's like where is my mic <laughs> is it a slash <laughs> i'm tired um slash rare form ra- radio yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's and rare form radio yeah on youtube and Spotify, Spotify, Spotify iTunes, Apple everywhere. Podcasts. All I listen platforms. to it on Apple, all platforms. Yeah. Um, and then on Instagram, Dan Cleary, set seventy nine, at and Rare Form are. Radio. Heidi Sabrina, Heidi Sabrina. Yeah. Well, it was fun. Right. Yeah. Thank, you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for for a fun night having me, and congratulations. Of and course. Thank you for the thank cookies. you for having thank us. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you for everything. See you next week. Bye.